Hello and welcome to another Aquamorph production tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to easily edit your brick films. I'm just using two programs, one that's free and one that costs a little bit of money. Um, this is a good solution because it allows you with taking pictures, let the computer do most of the editing so you don't have to shorten all the things down yourself. And if you do that, this will really speed up your time if you um, have a way of doing it already, well maybe I'll teach you a new way, so let's start out. First you're going to have to determine your frame rate at what you film at, and to start off we're going to need to open up the calculator, so it's right here, and whatever your frame rate, I'm going to be filming at 15 frames per second, so I'm going to start by typing in 1, and then the divide symbol, and then 15, whatever your frame rate goes in here, and you want to remember this number. My number is for 15 frames per second is 0 0.066. You really only need to memorize it to about three decimal places because that's not going to be necessary. Okay, to start off, the first program I'm going to be using is a program called Windows Live Movie Maker. It's free, it comes on Windows. I personally don't like it that much, but some people have to use it because it's free and they don't want to buy editing software. So, to start off, I'm going to open up my project. Select all, open it. So what you're going to do is you want to select all of them. We want all those things highlighted right there. And by highlighting them, you can just hit Control All and it'll highlight them. So if I select this one, hit Control All, all those are highlighted. Now you're going to go to Edit, and right here you see Duration. Whatever your number is, as mine was .0666, I'm going to type in .06 because it only has two decimal places. As you notice right here, the time got significantly shorter, and the f it's now three seconds for this clip, and now it looks like that. So it did all the editing for you. You can do all the custom anime editing you want now, but you don't have to shorten all the clips yourself. It's a convenient way. Now the next part we're going to be using is Sony Vegas. It's not free, but it's a variety of prices, anywhere from like forty to six hundred dollars. So the six hundred dollars is for the professional version, which is what I'm using, and forty dollars for like the cheap. So let's open Sony Vegas. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna find the location in Sony Vegas where your files are kept, so all the pictures. And now you're gonna go to options and you're gonna go to preferences. Um then you're gonna go to editing and you're gonna wanna copy basically all the settings I have here. You're going to go to New Still Image Length in seconds. And you're going to remember the number you had. Mine was 0 0.0666. And type that in. Round it to about that. And then you can hit Apply. And what this will do is when you add a new picture, this will only apply to pictures, it's going to automatically shorten down the images to whatever you told it to. You want to make sure that all these settings are exactly how I have them. Also, with the note, when you're going to options, I believe the default is to have quantized to frames on. You want to make sure that's off. It doesn't have a square around it like this one does or that one. Otherwise, it'll add a funny little gap. If you're still having problems about that, contact me. I'll send, maybe send me a print screen of what it looks like and I'll try to get that fixed. Anyways, you're going to select all the, your images. I'm going to drag it down to here. As you can see, they're now really nice and short. You can zoom in. And as you can see, it plays the image really fast at 15 frames per second. It looks really nice and sharp. Looks good. And that's how you do it in Sony Vegas and in Windows Movie Maker Live. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Goodbye.